Ladies and gentlemen, our first contestant uh, for the 2015 uh, senior final for the Golden Gavel competition, could you please put your hands together for a very warm welcome, Mr. Bronnie Manuel. Isn't it hard to believe that uh, during the early 1800s, over six and a half thousand cows and endless amounts of sheep roamed over the paddocks in which we stand today. And what clearly becomes evident when you look past on the history is that this location has continued to evolve. Uh, what were paddocks are now known as some of Adelaide's most pristine parklands. Uh, what used to entail having to shovel off a cow pet off the pitch to play a game of cricket, well, that is now played on Australia's newest and most sophisticated sporting arena. Yet after that very healthy $610 million redevelopment, there is one structure which still remains untouched. A structure which stands just as proud as it did when it overseen its first game in 1912. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to the beacon of this iconic stadium. And I place for your offering today the Adelaide Oval Scoreboard. Good afternoon, my name is Bronte Manuel and today I will be keeping score. I proudly represent the team at Society Real Estate and of course our vendor, Mr Reinfeldt, uh, here today. I would like to take this opportunity uh, just to thank our vendors, uh, the Minister of Department and Environment and Natural Water Resources. Uh, that's just about like pronouncing uh, Pakistani's last name uh, on the battle lineup uh, for entrusting society real estate uh, with the sale of such a beautiful property. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it really is a privilege to offer you 8,003 square metres of historical land, uh, being all of that land in Crown Record 486 Folio 21, area named Adelaide in the 100 of Adelaide, although known to you and I, of course, as that historical Adelaide Oval scoreboard. Uh, we sell the title, ladies and gentlemen, passing with uh, that lease marked B on the documentation, uh, and that lease does expire on the 4th of January 2114. Uh, you will enjoy $1 per annum uh, in return for that, ladies and gentlemen. That'll be paid if, in case you're looking forward to it on the 5th day of January each year. Uh, the appropriate documentation, well, that has been on display for the past three working days and 30 minutes prior to the commencement of proceedings today. Uh, in there, you would have noticed inclusions and exclusions. Well, they are very straightforward. Uh, we do sell pursuant to the Real Estate Inc. Institute of South Australia and the Society of Auctioneers and Appraisers, which are binding and contractual conditions. Uh, you bid and buy on documentation we believe to be clear and concise. Contract unconditional by nature, uh, which should only encourage you into the bidding. It will come at no surprise that we offer the property today subject to the vendor's very realistic reserve price. Uh, upon reaching or exceeding that figure, and there is no further bidding, then quite simply, I will call the property three times before sold is announced and no further bids will be taken. Uh, as that successful purchaser, well, you will step forward. You'll sign the contract, uh, pay the mandatory 10% deposit with a balance due upon settlement which is set down for the 30th day of June 2015. Uh, now, those of you who have had variations and they have been approved back to you in writing, well, the good news is you today can bid with absolute confidence. Uh, at the fall of the hammer, well, the property will become at the risk of the purchaser. But most importantly, how do you become that purchaser? Well, you do need to be registered and simply identify yourself uh, when making that bid. Uh, bid may be refused if it's not in the best interest of our vendor. Uh, no, there will be no third umpire, ladies and gentlemen. That will be at my discretion. Uh, calling off rights will simply, they do not apply today. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, our vendor, uh, our vendor and myself and the marketing agent are very comfortable and confident uh, with the documentation. But before the first ball is bowled, do I have any last minute questions or queries? Mr. Auctioneer. Yes, sir. My grandfather, Kenneth Mill, was the architect of the scoreboard, and there's a plaque on the eastern side that you may have noticed. I want your absolute personal guarantee that that scoreboard will never, ever leave there, because it's not just part of our family heritage, it's part of the heritage of South Australia, it's part of our life story. Everyone knows the City of Adelaide by the cathedral and that scoreboard, so you prepare to give me your personal guarantee. 
Well, sir, number one, beautiful shirt. Number two, I agree with everything you've said. And number three, I offer no warranties or guarantees upon that, sir. But what I can tell you, what I can tell you is it's nearly as good as offering that, is that there is actually a heritage marked on that uh, grandstand itself, sir. So there is everything here there to protect that to be standing there for years to come. Quite simply, if I knew that someone was going to knock it down, which they can't, uh, I don't think I'd even sell it to them either, sir. So look, I'm on your side. Uh, I'm sure you'll be fine. All the very best. Thank you very much, sir. I'm under strict instructions. You know what would solve everything? If you purchased the property. I look forward to your bidding. <laughs> Do we have any further questions or queries? Uh, yes, um, yes ma'am. Oh, thank you very much for your uh, questions, ma'am. Look, uh, there is actually a lease in place. So that front portion marked B, uh, that's actually part of the uh, Adelaide Cricket Oval. So uh, unless you can get it through council uh, approval to build some good sky rises where you can put some advertising which peers into the oval, uh, that would be something you'd have to take up with the council itself. Uh, all the very best with your bidding. I'd love to see how that one unfolds for you. Bit of a creep. Unless you're a sport... Oh, and another question. Uh, Good to see you, sir. Yes. Nice um, tie. I'm bidding today on behalf of the Mumbai Cricket Club. Yes. And uh, I want to know whether or not, in fact, they need to have FIRB approval. FIRB approval. Sir, can you please spell that one out for me? Beautiful. You're as good as smart as me. Hopefully I can add up like that in a moment's time. Sir, what I can tell you is, are you registered here today? Well, what, all I can say is we offer the property today here uh, under the settlement terms and the 10% deposit, uh, and as opposed to what it takes for your cricket ground to be in a position to purchase, uh, you will be purchasing in your right today, sir, so you will be responsible for this land. And what you do from there, well, that's up to you and your cricket club. Does that help, sir? All the very best with your bidding. Cricket team, I like it. Unless you're a sporting immortal like Mark Rusciuto, the Chapel Brothers, or maybe Sir Donald Bradman himself, then today may be the only opportunity to put your name up on this beautiful oval. On the hill, well, ladies and gentlemen, this sees in excess of a million visitors each year, uh, taking advantage of the smorgasbord of professional sporting activity that takes place. And if you're one of those and you've stepped through those gates, you can probably just hear the crowd roar. Crows more than port? Well, that's not up to my discretion. But ladies and gentlemen, what I can tell you is that roar is going to be nothing compared to the sound of your accountant and bank manager as they help you unlock the potential and the equitable interest in this sensational primely positioned portion of land. Whether that be, bless you sir, uh, whether that be Adelaide's newest shopping centre, ladies and gentlemen, taking advantage of the tens of thousands of foot traffic that walk past each and every week, or whether that be, of course, ladies and gentlemen, a hotel to take advantage of our international visitors, maybe to house the Barmy Army, just to name one. Or it could be that new residential apartment complex, or a, com a combination of all. A combination of all of those. But ladies and gentlemen, really you're only limited by your imagination and of course council consent. But why would they not be on your side, ladies and gentlemen, in creating a world-class precinct to accompany their world-class oval? Now, walking through the scoreboard itself, I looked up and I seen D. Lennon, 1996, and it was etched into the rich timber itself. And Dave, Doug, or Don, not sure of his name, he obviously felt that he was so privileged to be inside the Adelaide scoreboard that he decided to sneakily graffiti his name and the date that he visited. Well, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm offering you something a little more than that. I'm offering you an opportunity to put your name on the title and to become the first privateer to own the beacon of Adelaide. From scoreboard to scorecards, ladies and gentlemen, it's now my turn to keep score. Who's going to staff me away and hit the first ball and get us, get us off and running? Do we have an opening bidder offer, say, at five million, ladies and gentlemen? Five million. Five million. Well, welcome to the bidding, sir, and I hope our partnership is a long one. At five, five million. With bidder number seven at five million. That's so fair. Yes.
Thank you very much for your... It says the school board can be demolished if damaged beyond repair. And a new owner could accidentally on purpose, couldn't they, destroy it for perhaps a pet house for Thank you very, very much for your question once again, sir. Well, I thank you for your statement then, sir. I do thank you for your statement. What I can tell you is I sell as per the documentation here today and there is a heritage agreement in place to protect your scoreboard, sir. Not if it's damaged beyond repair. Well, the Adelaide Oval are taking very good care of it. They have, sir, since 1912. You are not accountable. Well, sir, look, I really do need you to sit down, sir. I've got five million with bidder number four, was it, sir? Five million with bidder number seven. At five million is the call. Once again, sir, I can take a quarter to solve the issue if you would like to bid. At five million is the call. At five million, we should go in quarters from here, ladies and gentlemen. At five million is the call. Looking for five two fifty if we may. At five million, I bid away now, ladies and gentlemen. First call. At five million, I bid away now, ladies and gentlemen. Second, third, and final call. Five million and two fifty. Welcome to the bidding number five. Five two fifty. We've got matching ties. I like it. At five two fifty is the call. Is it go? Five two fifty. Five and a half. The cricket club will be happy, sir. At five and a half is the call. Five seven fifty. Seven fifty in the front. Welcome in bidder number three. At seven fifty is the call. At seven fifty is the call now. Where's our starter gone? At seven fifty here. At five seven fifty. Who's gone around me to six? At five seven fifty. I bid away now, ladies and gentlemen. First call. At five seven fifty. I bid away now. Second, third, and final call. Just on the death knock, sir. It's six million with bidder number five again. At six million straight back. At six million is the call. At six million, sir. What do the cricket club say? Six two fifty. Welcome back, ma'am. Bidder number three at six two fifty. At six and a quarter we stand. At six and a quarter, who's going to edge me to six fifty? Six five. Six and a half it is. Welcome back, bidder number seven. At six and a half is the call. At six million five hundred a bit away now, ladies and gentlemen. First call. At six and a half, six seven fifty. Six seven fifty is the call. At six seven fifty, bit quiet at the back, sir. It solved the problem. Seven million could be the one. Six seven fifty we have. At six seven fifty, all a bit of fun, isn't it? At six seven fifty, six eight fifty, sir. With bit of number five again. At six eight fifty. 6850 is the call. Looking for 6950, sir. 6950 back with bidder number four. That's 6950, ladies and gentlemen. I call it away now at 6950. Well, 6950 takes me to 72, sir. 7 million and 200. 7 million and 200 with bidder number seven. 7 million and two. What was that, sorry, man? 50. 7 million and 250 with bidder number three. 7 million and 250. 7 million and 350. 7 million and 350. You want a 100 this time, sir? 350. 450 is the call. 450. Yes, ma'am? Yes. Do you have a bidder's registration? Can you please just show me your number? Seven million four seven five fifty with you then, ma'am. Welcome in bidder number eight. Seven five fifty. You had a question, of course you're gonna have a bid. Seven five fifty, seven six fifty. Six fifty is the call. Six fifty, seven fifty with bidder number seven. At seven fifty is the call. Seven fifty, eight hundred, shortening my stride, but I'll run with it. At eight hundred is the call. At eight hundred a bit now. At eight hundred a bit now. Where do we go from here down in front? Eight hundred. 850, sir. 850. At eight. Seven nine. Seven nine flat. At seven million nine hundred is the call. At seven million nine hundred, ladies and gentlemen, looking for fifties in front. Seven million nine hundred. Seven million nine hundred. Seven million nine hundred. You cannot do this. Seven million nine hundred. Sir, uh, seven million nine hundred. Can't do it. Sir, do under 24G of the Act, if you're disrupting an auction, they're my witnesses. It's up to a $20,000 fine, sir. Right, you know what I think you should do, sir? You should put that 20000 instead of a fine into a bid. What do we say? 7920 sir? Didn't think so. 7950 Welcome back in bidder number eight. At 950 is the call. 950, 975, tongue twister, making it fun. At 7975, 975 is the call. Where do we go from here? 975, you want to take me 825, sir. 825 on the other side of the fence at 825. At 825, other side of the fence here means that's for the people that didn't want to pay for the cricket game. They actually planted trees to stop that at 8 million and 25. 8 million and 25, where do we go from here? A 50 would only be fair. At 8 million and 25, I bit away now, ladies and gentlemen. First call at 8 million and 25, sir, that started. You promised me we would have a long partnership. At 8 million and 25, please don't tell me you've been bowled out. At 8 million and 25, third and final call. Just on the death knock, sir, at eight million and fifty. Just got through the catch there. At eight million and fifty with bidder number four, at eight million and seventy-five, back with number three. Eight million and seventy-five, nine one hundred is the call with bidder number eight, at eight one is the call. At eight million one hundred a bit now, at eight million one twenty-five, one twenty-five with bidder number three. At one twenty-five is the bid. One twenty-five. 
125? Is it on the market? Sir, at no point am I going to disclose whether it's on the market, but all I can tell you is you're not in front at the moment, sir. Take, give me a 150. So then it will matter if it's on the market. 125, at 8 million, 125. 8 million, 150 with bit of number 8. 8, 150 is the call. That's 150, I bit away. 160, sir, I tell you what, I'll take a, six, I'll take a 10 at 160 is the call with bid number 7. 170 with you, sir. 170 with bid number 4. At 8, 170 is a bid. At 8, 170, ladies and gentlemen, I'll keep selling it in 10s from here. At 8, 170, 180. You did start them, so it's only fair you finish, sir. At 8, 180. 8, 170, 180 with you, sir. 180 is the call. 180 in front. Where do we go? 190 back, sir. At 190 is the call. At 8 million, 190. I bid away now, ladies and gentlemen. 190. 190 with you. Two, eight, two million. Eight, two is the call. At eight million, two hundred thousand. At eight million, two hundred thousand. Eight million, two hundred two, two fifty. I'll take it for you. At two hundred two, two fifty. Two, two hundred two, two fifty. What? Don't tell me you want a two and a half, sir. Two hundred five. Five is the call. Million. Eight, two hundred five. Eight, two hundred five is the call, ladies and gentlemen. Eight, two hundred seven fifty with you with bit of number four. At eight, two hundred seven fifty. Eight, two hundred seven fifty is the call. At eight, two hundred seven fifty. 8, 2, 0, 7, 50, 8, 12 and a half. Sir, be careful. 8, be careful, sir, at 8, 12 and a half. At 8, 12 and a half, I bit away now. At 8, 12 and a half. At 8, 12 and a half. Children. This is for our children. If you're going to ditch me, half. you'll have to ditch them as well. Do not bid. We need to save this heritage for our children. Sir. Do not bid. Sir. If it's your children, are they going to be helping you pay the $20,000 fine? Can you please step aside and let me conduct the auction? Children, if your father build, buys the property, there's no issue. Sir, do it for your children. Well, I'm not rich either, sir. Please step away so I can get the five grand. Well, ladies and gentlemen, where do we go from here? We've got eight, eight, twelve, fifty. Can I just confirm? Eight, eight, twelve and a half. Eight, eight, twelve and a half, ladies and gentlemen. Can I just confirm? Eight, eight, twelve and a half is the bid. Oh, trying to get another six up. I can see into the future. Two million twelve and a half. Two million twelve and a half. We have at two million twelve and a half, ladies and gentlemen. Where do we go from here? Finish with a five thousand dollar bid. Two twelve and a half is the call. Where do we go from here, ladies and gentlemen? Another five would be fair. Two twelve and a half. Eight two twelve and a half. I bid away now, ladies and gentlemen. First call at eight two twelve and a half. I bid away now, ladies and gentlemen. Second call at eight two twelve and a half. I bid away now. Third and final call. Two twelve and a half. Two twenty two and a half. At 222 and a half, with my starter, welcome back again, sir. 222 and a half, just on the death knock. At 222 and a half, a bit away. At 222 and a half, at 222 and a half, sir. Where do we go down here with the cricket team? At 222 and a half, sir. 222 and a half, got the pink tie, man. 222 and a half, sir, man. 222 and a half, I've got with the starter. At 8 million, 222 and a half, I bit away now, ladies and gentlemen. First call, at 8, 222 and a half. Second, at 8, 222 and a half. Third, and final call. Well, ladies and gentlemen, 8, 2, 22 and a half. Just take a moment to reflect. This has not been on the market in forever. And today, I'm about to sell away to the man who stands right behind us. At 8 million, 2, 22 and a half. I bit away now, ladies and gentlemen. First call at 8 million, 2, 22 and a half. Second at 8 million, 2, 22 and a half. Third and final call. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to sell away. Going, going. Sure, sir? You're sure? Are you sure? You sure? So, congratulations, sir. <laughs> sir, save the booing for a port, the next Port Adelaide match. Uh, Sir, I do wish you all the very, very best with your new purchase. I literally cannot wait to see what does uh, come of that beautiful piece of land. And we know that that scoreboard is going to remain intact, sir. Uh, to everybody else, thank you very, very much for your spirited bidding. Uh, on behalf of Society Real Estate, we do wish you all the best and would love to invite you forward uh, to speak to one of our team to try and find you, I'm not sure, a similar property, but to help you realise your property dreams. All the very best. Have a great afternoon. Thank you. Thank you.